We've got something new. Papa's going to get a bale of hay so we can show you and talk to you about it. Papa went to get another bale of hay. I'll show you whenever he get up. I'll show you whenever he gets up here with it. This is a hay cradle. I like putting the hay on the ground because when you put it on the ground, everywhere you put it, we're putting it in a different place every time. Everywhere you put it, uh, it will uh, drop a lot of hay on the ground. The goats, because we got two billy goats up here, and the cattle uh, will all lay down in it, and they'll pee in it, and they'll poop in it, and they'll make a big mess of it, and they'll only use probably about uh, half or two thirds, maybe three quarters of the bale of hay, and the rest is wasted, and I'll show you over here. So this is uh, the last bale that we put in here it was a larger bale this bale you saw just a moment ago and I'll show you again in a moment is a smaller bale we only have that one and one other left that's the bale those are the bales that we got from our friend Sheila Dunn and those are two smaller bales this was a larger bale ordinarily we'd only be able to fit one of these larger bales in this hay cradle this right here is what's left over and I doubt they're gonna eat much more of it. The goat's pawing around in it a little bit right now, but uh, they've also been laying in it, they've been uh, scratching in it, they've been uh, you know sleeping in it some. And that's good in some ways because everywhere where we put that, it's gonna make a very good and fertile spot and there'll probably be some seeds left over in that. So it's gonna sprout some in the spring. We you know, only have a limited amount of hay. We wanna make sure we have enough. So Papa bought one of these hay cradles for the goats. He bought one of these hay cradles for the goats several weeks ago and he wanted to buy one for the cattle. And I said, that's fine, we can do that. I don't mind, we own these cattle together. So that's gonna make them use a little bit less of it. And uh, we'll show you. I've been keeping a log of how often I feed them and where I feed them. This will help things. But I want Papa to talk to you about it a bit more. I think what we'll end up doing Doing is we'll try to end up moving this hay cradle a little bit uh, every time uh, so that way it'll still drop the extra down here on the ground uh, that they're wasting but they won't be able to lay in it or climb in it quite as much it'll keep a little bit of it from wasting that otherwise would have welcome to copland long it's all about hay Okay, so this is a hay cradle. This was Papa's idea. I kind of balked at it because I wanted to make sure all the hay, all the extra stuff went down to the ground. I was fine with a bit of waste, uh, but um, I totally understand. Let's see what ba Papa has to say, why. We've been feeding goat hay all summer. We, you have to keep hay in front of goats all the time. They was lasting us anywhere between two and three weeks. We bought one of these hay cradles and put a bale in it and it's been eight weeks and it's a little better than half gone. It's gonna save money for hay and they still waste some. That will seed the ground like Daniel wants and we can move it every time. When there's no hay in it, two people can pick it up and move it easier. One can pick up one end and drag the other end. I think it's a 
major improvement and I think it'll save us some money in the long run. It might take two years to pay for it, but mm. even at that. So we've been paying about $30 a bale for the bigger bales. And this was $310 is what you said. 368. Doing. I thought that that would take a lot of hay for a lot of waste in order to pay for it. It's so like 11, you know, and a half bales or 10 or something like that. I'd say 10 or 11 bales, but you know, he wanted to do it and we do this together. So that's one of the things about homesteading with someone else is sometimes you make some concessions. Really isn't that big of a deal. We split the, most of the costs if we can. You know, sometimes they pay more on some things and sometimes I pay more on things, but you know, we're in this together and we're not in, either one of us in it to make money. We're in it to be more prepared and uh, uh, stuff like that. I didn't want to do it. He did. We ended up doing it because I'm fine with that. I like to experiment, so we'll see how this works out. If it doesn't work out, then you know we can always just go back to putting it on the ground. It'll definitely save us money. I'm not sure how long it'll take us to pay for it with saved money. And again, we're hoping in years to come that all three of these pastures, these silvo pastures, all three of these silvo pastures will, uh, you know, start being a whole lot more, you know, green and lush, so we don't have to give them much hay at all. Right now, we do have to give them hay. We put two bale in it, as I'm sure you noticed uh, but the big bales it won't hold but one these are smaller bales so. i had been feeding uh, two smaller bales and it takes uh, give or take usually a little less than about a week whenever it's uh, you know not got much green on the ground in the fall and winter it's been taking a little less for a week for the two small bales to be eaten by the seven head of cattle and the two billy goats we'll see what this does you've got to do what's best for you and you don't really have to justify yourself to anyone but we like to experiment and you know this is kind of an experiment as well and ordinarily uh, we would have to uh, put these bottom pit bits in here as well but these two small bales uh, it's not working out to you know it can't fit all the way in there but there, it's just a little too small for two small bales it'll save more money with goats than it will with cattle because the goats have a tendency to climb on top of it and defecate on it and make a mess and after they've done that they won't eat it if it's up high enough they can't get on top of it it saves a lot of money if you're just feeding goats but it won't save as much with just cattle well the cattle get in it too uh, they like to lay in it as well not as uh, bad as goats <laughs> no not as bad as goats the billy goats are only gonna be up here a little while longer we're gonna put them back up with the nannies in the fall we keep them separated because we don't want to have babies in the dead of winter yeah. so about the first or second week in december we'll put them together and then that'll put our babies at, at in the last part of March and first part of April. But for those of you who ca have cattle or goats, uh, do you use a hay cradle? What do you think about it? Do you think we should do that? What? I don't know. This is an experiment for me. I've never done it before. If you like things like this and telling you what we're doing and our experiments and like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification. That really does help us. It helps the algorithm so that more, so the video gets shown to more people. Thanks. So this is three days later. I just want to let you see how much they've eaten off of it and how it's still here. The last big bale of hay, it took them uh, six days to eat it. They're three days in on this. Uh, it's still got uh, probably about half of, again as much, but there is some waste. You see it down here at the bottom. Uh, it's going through and they're getting it on the ground some, but maybe a little less waste. And when we get bigger bales, maybe the bigger bales uh, won't waste quite as much in there as well. I thought I'd give you an update before I edit it and before I get it out there. If you like things like this and the updates especially, then make sure to let me know down in the comments below and keep on coming back. Thanks. Mm -hmm.